Hi, welcome to Cook Healthy BR, a healthy recipe project of the Mayor's Healthy City Initiative. I'm Jeff, and each week we bring you a new healthy recipe along with a video of how to prepare it. Today's recipe is stand-up broccoli corn muffins. We've got Judy Myhan from LSU. Judy, what do you do at LSU? I teach nutrition and food science in the School of Nutrition and Food Sciences in the College of Agriculture. Oh, that's awesome. I'm loving your apron. What's going to be in these muffins today? These muffins are going to have some whole grains, whole wheat flour, and stone ground yellow cornmeal, a vegetable, a dark green vegetable, broccoli, a little bit of pep from the cayenne pepper. Um, if you want to add some other color to the muffins, you can add a little bit of red bell pepper, which is also very nutritious. A little dairy, some cheese, some grated cheese, a nice healthy oil, some uh, olive oil, four eggs, which is seems like a lot of eggs, but you'll see how good they taste. And a tiny little bit of salt too. All right, our first step is to get our broccoli prepared for the recipe. How do we get this broccoli ready to go in these muffins? The first thing that we're going to do is uh, wash the broccoli. This is a vegetable product, but it needs to be washed before we use it in our muffin. The next thing that I'm going to do is cut these florets, that's called a florette, into pieces that are about the right size for our muffins. Probably cut this one in half and trim off a little bit of it at the end. Judy, you've got some boiling water in that bowl there. How are we going to get the broccoli ready to go into the muffins? One of the things I like to do is blanch the broccoli before I put it into the muffins because it gives it a nice bright color. One of the things that's happening is the air is being released, so it's uh, making the chlorophyll uh, show. All right, Judy, how long have these okay. been in the hot water? These have been in here for about a minute in boiling water. So not too long. Let's no. see the comparison the, over here. We right. can see these darker Look ones. Look at the difference in the color. How wow, bright. that's bright. Isn't that nice? We need a little bit of grated cheese for this recipe. Instead of trying to hold the cheese grater and going all over the place, just uh, put the cheese grater down so that it has some support and grate your cheese. Make sure your cheese is cold when you're grating it. It's so much easier than if it's not cold. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and get our wet ingredients mixed before we add them to our dry. What's going into the wet side of this recipe? First, we're going to use some uh, room temperature eggs that we're going to crack by tapping gently on the flat surface and cracking them into the bowl. Checking to make sure we've got a good egg. And the other thing that we're going to measure uh, today is a fourth of a cup of olive oil. We're ready with our dry ingredients. We've got our whole wheat flour, our um, yellow cornmeal. We've got some uh, spices in here, some salt, a little bit of cayenne, and we've got our baking powder. You've got a special way to mix this up, right, Judy? Yes, I usually use my hands because baking powder can get little clumps in it and you'll you'll be able to see them. I'll grab our wet. Okay, just in. pour that in. There you go. And then we can... Uh, Stir that around a little bit. So how mixed do we want to get this? Not, you don't have to over mix it, just about like this. I, don't, I want to get all that egg white mixed in, so you don't want to have a little glob of egg white in. Our wet ingredients are in. We're going to add my favorite ingredient, the shredded cheese. We probably want to mix that gently so that we That's don't right. break up that cheese. That's right. Just, okay. just fold it in. And then we're going to get our Muffin tins ready. Mm -hmm. I've got the tin here. Is there anything we need to do to get this tin prepared? Yes, we're gonna use a little pan spray. Uh, we're gonna walk. I'm gonna walk over to the sink so that I don't spray it on the floor. It's very slippery. And just give it a little. And we pick up a little bit of the dough because we're gonna try to distribute it in each muffin tin. How many muffins is this gonna make? It makes twelve. Great, that's a yes. good bit of muffins. Uh -huh. So we can have some for breakfast and maybe some to that's take as right. a snack to school. That's right. so we're going to finish these up. 
You're covering it with the um, batter. Mm -hmm. I'm it, trying to be real specific no, here. No, no. This, you can just be kind of, um, I do like to get the top of the broccoli covered, but that's about it. Otherwise, it doesn't have to look pretty. This step looks like it might be really fun for the kiddos to That's do. right. That's right. I think that's something they'd enjoy. We're going to get these finished up. Tell us, we're going to put these in the oven, get them baked. Judy, what's our oven temperature preheated to? 350 degrees. And how long are we going to bake them? About 25 minutes. All right. We're going to get those going. We're going to come back with the finished product. You're not going to believe how cute these are when you cut into them. All right. We've got our finished muffins here. We took them out of the oven. We let them cool completely. And now we're going to cut into them to see how they look. I'm going to cut this one right here in half. Oh, look, look at that. How cute. That's great. Well, I'm going to grab one of those halves and I'm ready to taste it. These I are did. too cute. I can see how the kids would love these. Yes. Tons of nutrition, That's most right. of the food groups, lots of whole grains. This, as breakfast, I would imagine would keep us pretty full through the morning. That's right. That's All right. right. Let's taste. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. this is delicious. It's moist. You get a little bit of crunch from the broccoli. You can really taste the cornmeal in here. This is really good. I get a little bit of bite from the cayenne pepper. <laughs> Thank you so much. These are as tasty as they are adorable. You can find out more information about Judy and the work that she does through the LSU School of Food and Nutrition Sciences. We'll have those links in the show notes as well as links to the recipe and everything else you need to go along with this. Thanks, Judy. You're welcome. Thank you. I had a great time. Awesome.